What's up, you guys? Happy Thanksgiving! Look at these cute Thanksgiving berries that we're making today. OMG, these are my favorite berries, and they're just ah, too freaking cute. For today's video, we're gonna be using some chocolate I found the other day at Sam's Club, and it's like the members only chocolate or whatever the F they call it. You guys, this chocolate is so freaking good. I had to use it in a video. What the heck? We're also going to be using some marshmallows, little mini pretzel sticks, and of course, we're going to be using some glitter from Shine Dessert Glitter, you guys. If you guys haven't gotten any glitter from this company, um, I'm going to need you guys to get it together and support some small businesses, okay? And for today's berries, we're going to be using some Chef Master and Chocolate Chameleon food coloring, but make sure that it's oil-based, you guys. Every time you guys are working with chocolate, we always want to be using some oil-based food coloring. So just a little FYI for my beginners. I always get asked where I get my berries from. And I don't know why because most of you guys don't even live in my area. So we're never going to have the same kind of berries around us, okay? <laughs> but anyways, to answer the question, I don't go to a particular place to get berries. I literally go everywhere and then some. So I usually go to Trader Joe's, um, Walmart, Safeway, Rayleigh's, all of the stores, Target. Okay, don't play with me. If I can't find them somewhere, I'm going to find them somewhere else. And yeah, just the FYI because everybody wants to know where I get my berries from. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know why I went into that whole little rant. But to wash my berries, I like to use the veggie wash from Trader Joe's. It's my favorite veggie wash. It's also linked in my Amazon. I usually put them in a bowl and I let them soak for like five minutes. Make sure they're nice and clean. And then we want to wipe them down super, super good and make sure that they are super dry, you guys. Make sure they're 110% dry because you do not want any of the water to get into your chocolate and possibly mess it up, okay? We just got to take a couple seconds to appreciate how cute these berries are because I love me some good berries. So this is the chocolate that I got from Sam's Club the other day and OMG you guys I swear that I've been talking about this for like two weeks now since I've gotten this chocolate and I love it. This chocolate kind of reminds me of Ghirardelli chocolate and if you guys love Ghirardelli, I can never say that shit right. If you guys love Ghirardelli, oh. <laughs> if you guys love Ghirardelli chocolate you guys will love this one as well. So for these chocolate wafers, I ended up having to melt it down for two minutes. And usually it's a minute and a half for all my other chocolate. But this one was only two minutes and that's okay. We did 30 second intervals. And you guys already know that I love these silicone cups because I love to mess around with my chocolate instead of having to grab a spoon and mix it through intervals. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It just makes it easier for me. Like, look how smooth this freaking chocolate is. And I didn't add anything to it up until right now that I'm adding some orange food coloring. But if you guys know Chef Master and orange, y'all know for whatever reason, this freaking food coloring makes it a little bit thicker. And I was still able to work with it. So I was loving this. So we're going to be dipping three of the berries in orange chocolate. And for the first one, we're going to be making a cute little pumpkin pie. Okay, you guys, for the little pumpkin pie, we're going to be doing the crust first. So I ended up mixing a little bit of brown chocolate with white chocolate to get this color. And then from there, I'm basically just going to be doing a bunch of zigzags at the top of the berry. Only at the top. Do not go halfway or nothing. Just the top, okay? You know, it took me a couple years to finally, like, like pumpkin pie. <laughs> I used to freaking be like, ugh, pumpkin pie without even tasting it. But like, I think it was like two, three years ago, I finally had a pumpkin pie. And oh my gosh, I get it every year now around this time, y'all. I forgot to mention the little dot we had at the end for the little whipped cream on the pumpkin pie. Yeah, don't forget to add that. <laughs> so for this next orange berry, we're going to be doing a little pumpkin for the little extra fall vibes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all know what I'm saying. Pumpkin berries are always super easy to make and they're super cute. So we're just going to do a bunch of lines down the berry and then we're going to add some green chocolate. So we're going to be making our own, of course. So you want to get a little baggie with white chocolate in it and we're going to put a little bit of green chocolate chameleon to make it green. <laughs> with the green chocolate, we're basically just going to be doing a bunch of like little loop-de-loops and swirls at the top of the berry to make it look like little vines and just add like a little bit of extraness you know what i'm saying y'all already know that i'm super extra so we got to add these extra little touches to make them extra cute <laughs> so for this last berry we're gonna be keeping it a little simple because we're gonna be using this berry as like 
basically to hold up our freaking little Thanksgiving sign. So we're just going to have this berry covered up. So because you guys already know that I like to use my little loop-de-loop -loop drizzle whenever I can, that's exactly what we're going to be doing for this berry. So you guys, now we're going to be working on some of the dark chocolate berries. And you guys already know this is my favorite chocolate. And of course, we're going to be using the same brand as we did for the last one. P.S. you guys, this video is not sponsored by Sam's Club, but I feel like it should be. What's up, Sam's Club? Plug your girl up, okay? Ooh, that sounds kind of nasty. <laughs> anyways we're gonna be using my favorite silicone cups to melt my chocolate and i'm literally gonna melt this chocolate the same exact way i melted the other one with two minutes and 30 second intervals and this one is just as smooth as the white chocolate one i literally didn't add anything to neither of them and it is just so smooth and like perfect like it's literally perfect so for this first berry, we're going to be doing the little turkey berry. I know that it's been going viral all over social media. And of course, I'm going to show you guys how I make mine. So for these berries, we're going to be using this thin little pretzel stick. And we're going to be cutting it right in half. And we're also going to be using some mini marshmallows as like the little thigh leg. You know what I'm saying? The little thighs. Yeah, that's what we're going to make. By the way, we're only going to need three of the mini marshmallows for each like turkey berry that you want to make. You only need three of them. So we're going to be using the chocolate as like glue for right now. So we're going to go ahead and dip one of the pretzels into the marshmallow. <laughs> Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. I explained that so wrong. What the heck? We're going to dip the pretzel into the chocolate and then we're going to stick the freaking pretzel into the marshmallow. And this is what it should look like. And for our last little marshmallow, we're going to go ahead and cut it in half. But we're going to cut it diagonally because that's how we're going to stick it onto the berry. <laughs> Duh. Once we prepped our little accessories for this berry, we're going to go ahead and use more chocolate for glue. We're going to stick on the little turkey legs slash thighs, whatever you want to call them. And then we're going to go ahead and stick on the little turkey wings. And I swear that it already looks so cute. It kind of looks crazy, actually, but you guys know exactly what I'm doing. Before dipping the berry, you guys, make sure that your pieces are all the way set and that your chocolate's not too hot or else it will mess up and fall apart and it's just gonna be a sad sad little story okay okay and to finish up this berry we're just gonna add a little bit of the white at the bottom and it's done look how cute it is for these next two berries we're gonna be making cute little turkey berries of course come on now but except this time we're gonna be making the little face so we're gonna go ahead and put some chocolate into a little bag and we're gonna take our black food coloring and mix it all together and you know that is the best of both worlds. Nah, 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 nah. I swear that every time I say mix it all together, I wanna just freaking go into Hannah Montana mode and just sing you guys a song, but we not gonna do that today, okay? Anyways, you guys, for the first one, we're going to go ahead and draw the little ojito. So we're going to draw two circles. And then this berry, I kind of wanted it to have like a little expression. So I went ahead and did like the little eyebrows or whatever the heck that even is. I think they're eyebrows. I don't even know what I was going for here. If it's like a little surprise expression or if it's little eyebrows. But I'm going to say it's eyebrows. After you draw on the little eyebrows or whatever, we're going to go ahead and draw the little beak. And also, after you draw the beak, we're going to go ahead and do the little red thing. I don't know what this is called, but I'm going to say it's a tassel. So we're going to draw on the tassel for the turkey. And then he's going to basically almost be done. But you guys already know I can't leave it here. And don't forget to add the little glares on the turkey eyes. Because I feel like this always gives it that extra, like, cuteness on them. So we're going to use this leaf mold to add, like, the little turkey leaves and or turkey feathers, whatever the heck they're called. Usually I use this mold for broccoli, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, if you guys know, you know. So on this mold, we're only gonna be using the two smallest leaves and I'm gonna make two of them red and one of them yellow for this turkey. And because I forget to show this in the later clips, I'm gonna use um, this mold again, but I'm gonna use two leaves in orange and one of them in red. Once you're done filling up the mold, you guys can pop them into the fridge until they're hardened up. Probably it takes about 10 minutes or so. So once they're all set, we're going to go ahead and put some chocolate on the turkey berry. And we're going to use it as a glue for the leaves. And we're going to stick the leaves on there. Look how cute this freaking turkey berry is, you guys. I'm literally so obsessed with them. For this next turkey, we're literally going to make it look the same as the other one. Except we're going to do two different little things on this one. We're going to make the eye shape a little different. Which this one, I wanted it to look a little bit more feminine. So we're going to go ahead and do this one with like a little winged eyeliner slash lashes vibe. 
The beak and the little red tassel -y thing that it has is going to be exactly the same as I showed you guys on the last berry. But this berry is also going to have like a little like bay yang in the front, you know what I'm saying? I think it adds a little bit of an extra feminine touch and it just looks so cute. So that's the only difference from this berry and the last one, which is the little eyes and the little bay yang. Everything else is exactly the same. So now we're going to go ahead and glue on the little leaves at the top and just add the little extra finishing touches to these cute berries. Before I forget you guys, everything that I have mentioned in this video will be linked down below. Even the Sam's Club chocolate and everything. If I'm able to find the links to them, they will be linked down below. Don't forget to check it out. Also, I will link down my Amazon storefront so you guys can go ahead and be updated to everything that I love from Amazon. Which you guys already know, majority of everything that I have is from Amazon amazon okay as i was packaging these berries up i forgot that i had these edible glitters that shine dessert glitters sent me and i needed to use them for the leaves like come on now i had to make them a little bit extra -ness. so i went ahead and picked up the glitter that i thought would match the most on each leaf and i went ahead and just put more glitter on these berries because come on can you even ever do too much glitter i don't think that there's such a thing as too much glitter you know a lot of you guys asked me what size box I use for my half dozen berries. And this is the size that I use, you guys. I do a six by six by three. And these boxes are actually linked in my Amazon. So I will link them down below for you guys. Let me know what you guys think about these berries. I freaking am obsessed with them. They came out so cute. If you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. Because that definitely motivates me to make more videos. Also, if you guys get any inspo from me, please send it to me. I want to see it. Don't be freaking greedy. I tell you guys every video, no says greedy, okay? And yeah, you guys, happy Thanksgiving. Bye.